Hi, I'm Renee. I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. In this episode, I organize and declutter a kitchen. This is part two. Part one can be seen here. In part one, the homeowner asked me to declutter and organize her master bedroom, bathroom, and master closet. I came back the second day to get her kitchen organized. After each area is complete, I'll do before and after pictures. A quick backstory. She stated she finally came to the conclusion that between working at the hospital, doing an internship, and finishing up her master's degree, she wasn't going to be able to do this on her own anytime soon. Now that we've got all the before pictures taken care of, let's start on the spice cabinet. So I started by removing all the spices. Then I cleaned the shelves and changed the shelf height based on the bottles I was going to put in next. There was not many spices left after I checked the expiration dates. I used an elevated shelf so she could see the spices in the back. I got the wire rack at Dollar Tree. I'll leave a link in the description below. There was medicine in the pantry and I wanted to free up space in the pantry and move the medicine to the spice cabinet. So once again I had to change the shelf height to accommodate some of the taller medicine. I put the prescription drugs in one container and the cold medicines and other medicines in another container. Again I used a Dollar Tree container. Originally these containers were meant to hold soda cans in the refrigerator. I used them for everything but for their intended purposes. This made it easier for her to pull down her prescriptions versus her non-prescription medication. The next cabinet was to the right of the dishwasher, which held dog items, tools, and other miscellaneous items. Once again, I used a soda container for the dog items. Moving up above this cabinet was the glasses cabinet. I removed all of the items. Then I wiped down the shelves and put them back to fit how the kitchen is used.
Let me know if you're enjoying this video by hitting the like button. Thank you so much. While I was cleaning the cabinets, I also sprayed the stove top with oven cleaner. And I let it set for about 20 minutes. It cleaned up so nice. Underneath the sink is next. I removed all of the items. Once this was done, I added an elevated tray to get the items up higher so she didn't have to bend down as much when she needed soap. Next is to the left of the sink. I'll be moving all of the cutlery to another cabinet. This was a hot mess of many different items. The coffee maker was donated and the tools went to the dog cabinet area. What I wanted it to be was a pan and glass baking dish area. to the pan cabinet which is underneath the spice cabinet. I removed all of the pans and she had new pans on the kitchen table which would go back in here. By you liking this video lets me know how useful this video is for you. It also lets me know that you appreciate the content that I'm producing. Some of the pans were moved to the previous cabinet. This drawer is directly above the pan and glass cabinet. Once again, I removed all of the contents. I cleaned and wiped out the drawer. I then matched up the measuring cups and measuring spoons.
and voila! The drawer next to the stove was one of three catch-all drawers. I put all the instructions in one container. Cleaned out the rest of the drawer and then wiped the drawer clean. Onto the drawer to the right of the stove, which was the cookbook and catch-all drawer. I added the oven mitts and small towels to this drawer. So this drawer is to the left of the silverware drawer. It was the lid drawer. I'm so glad I could help this family. After removing everything and wiping it down, I repurposed it to be the baggy and aluminum foil saran wrap drawer. I had an extra baggy container to divide out the different size bags. It worked out well. Okay, on to the pantry. This is where all of the medicine was originally that I moved to above the spices in the spices cabinet. I emptied out the top half of this cabinet and cleaned the shelves. I lowered the shelf so she could reach what was on the top shelf. I originally put all of the dressings on the bottom shelf and the baking goods on the top shelf, but once I started on the food cabinet to the left of the stove, I changed my mind. I moved on to the bottom part of the pantry and removed the rest of the food items. Then I rolled out the drawer with all the plastic container and lids. 
After matching up all of the lids and bottoms with each other, I moved them over to the counter where I was going to put them in another cabinet. Then I rolled out the bottom drawer. Grocery bag after grocery bag after grocery bag. You've watched this video so far and I am lucky enough to help these families. When you watch this video to the end, you're helping more families to declutter and organize their homes. Once I wipe down the drawer, I will eventually put in the plastic silverware, which I sorted by forks, knives, and spoons. So then I moved down to the other food cabinet and checked for expiration dates again, and moved items into the actual food pantry. I put the chicken broth in here originally and then moved them into the pantry. I decided the tea would go here and the items that were in the cabinet just below this cabinet would go here as well. Of course, here is where I changed my mind and moved the dressings to the cabinet only to change my mind again and move them to the top shelf of the food pantry. In the food pantry, I had all of the pasta on the top shelf, but then moved them to the lid drawer just below. The cabinet below the food cabinet is next. This is where the Powerade was that I moved to the cabinet above.
My thought process here was to put all the kitchen appliances that were on the countertop in here, especially the ones that they didn't use that often. On to my favorite before and after cabinet. This was going to be a new plastic container cabinet and lid storage area. I continue to match containers with lids and realize there are more containers than I thought there was. This just does my heart good, all neat and tidy. Okay, on to the drawer above the dog cabinet. This was the third catch-all drawer. More instructions that go into the white container. This was repurposed to be a kitchen gadget utensil drawer. The kitchen is just about done. All that is left is this area and the kitchen table. I cleaned it up quickly. The kitchen table cleaned up quick as well. 
Here are some more before and after pictures of the kitchen. And 13 bags of trash. Thank you so much for watching. My next video is ready for you to watch. We'll see you there.